Suddenly piece yourself back together now What's your vision? Lesson, what is a virtual machine? A virtual machine is a computer running entirely inside a software application. What I'm going to do in this short video is show you the architecture of how a virtual machine fits in with your hardware machine. So the first thing I'm do is just put up a hardware machine right here. It's very low level drawing. And then we've got a keyboard and a mouse of some kind. Put some keys in here. And then we've got a monitor. Of course there has to be a person to operate the computer. But now if that person keys something in or uses a mouse, nothing's going to happen with this computer. You needed something else to make this computer and have something come up on a monitor. And that's called an operating system. So let's add an operating system. And the common abbreviation for an operating system is OS. And typical operating systems would be Windows, XP, 7, Windows 8. Then you've got your Macintosh operating systems. And both of these cost some money. But if you want some operating system that don't cost anything, you can use something like Ubuntu. Uh, Fedora. And SUS. And these are all Linux operating systems. And for the most part, these are free. Some are open source. I think the first two are open source, and then the uh, other ones aren't. And if you really want to work with virtual machines, this is probably uh, the best operating system you use on a virtual machine, so you don't have to pay for these. But anyway, go on. So now when the user keys something in, it goes to the operating system, which is actually sitting inside the hardware, the actual computer, and then sends whatever keyed in into the uh, monitor, and you get something, whatever happens. In this case, say hi. Now also over here on the side, if you want to get real fancy, you have applications. And an application is something like uh, MS Word, or LibreOffice, MS Office. And this time sends signal to the application. The application sends something back to the operating system. So the operating system is also an interface between an application and the hardware. And because this application is a fancy, let's say it's a graphic like Photoshop or GIMP, in this case we'll have, it's going to add something, a graphic. So you can, it can actually do some more things for the computer. But getting back to virtual machines, what you have to have here is a special kind of application called virtualization software to run virtual machines. But if we go to the virtualization software and want to run a virtual machine, nothing really happens. What you have to do here is similar to like the operating system, which is a user interface between you and the computer, the hardware, you have to have another operating system out here. And what virtualization software does, it allows you to have more than one operating system. If you want to have one here, if you want to have an Ubuntu operating system, you can have one. You can have a Fedora operating system. You can have a window. The only thing is, if you have a window, operating system, a lot of times you've got to pay extra for it. And I'm just going to put a SUSE in here. So you can have all these operating systems running. Depending on the amount of memory your computer has, you probably can only have one of these applications because these are like applications. They're dependent. You can only have one running at one time. So now, when you run one of these operating systems, you get something special. You get an operating system running. So you can practice with each one of these, and you can actually learn quite a bit. And there is, 
basically what we have here is this, you kind of have a wall here so that each one of these operating systems running down here is completely separate from the hardware machine. If something goes wrong here in Ubuntu or Fedora shouldn't do anything to your hardware machine. So basically this part above the these yellow stars is called a host and the part below the yellow stars and those each one of those machines is called a guest. And that's pretty much what a virtual machine is, pretty much how a virtual machine is set up in terms of your hardware machine. So many pieces fell back together now. What's your vision?